<laughs> hey, welcome to the show. Yeah, I was playing with dinosaurs. Hey, before we get started on subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators, take a look at the link over there that's to my new channel called Dino Math. We're having so much fun over there with dinosaurs, Beyblades, um, you name it, we got it. We're having so much fun, but I'd sure appreciate it with your support if you can go over there and hit that subscribe button to that channel and also to the channel here. I'd sure be super happy. Let's put the dinosaur over to the side here and let's get started. Now, we're gonna be subtracting these mixed numbers. First of all, this is called the denominator, that's called the numerator, and this is called your whole number, all right? Don't get in the habit of subtracting whole numbers right away because the value of this whole number right here might change if we need to borrow to make a, uh, the fraction a little bit bigger. So first thing what I do is I take a look at the denominator because I want common denominators. That makes it so much easier to uh, work with when I'm subtracting. So I have six and five. Now, when you're figuring out sometimes the least common multiple of six and five, try multiplication right away. Six times five would be 30. And from doing a lot of these, I know that's gonna be my least common multiple. So I need to change my denominator to 30. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this. So this will be 17, and I know my denominator is gonna be 30, but I'm not sure what the numerator is. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you that in our next step. I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite five and three fifths to five, and my denominator is gonna be 30. And now let's try to figure out that numerator, all right? Now, there's a little trick here. Whatever I do to the denominator here, I need to do the exact same thing to the numerator. Six times what equals 30? Five, all right? So six times five equals 30. Now remember, whatever I do to the, den <laughs> to the denominator, I have to do the same thing to the numerator. So five times, five equals 25. So I put 25 right here. All right, let's work on this one right now because we're, we gotta figure out what the numerator is. So five times what equals 30? Five times six equals 30. So five times six here, times six here. Three times six equals, you got it, 18. So I put 18 right here. Now, what I do is I check to see, I'm gonna be subtracting. So it's 25 minus 18. Now there's gonna be a chance sometime that you might be subtracting, and, and let's say it's like three minus four, and then you end up with a negative number and you, you're gonna to need to borrow from the uh, whole number. But in this case, we don't need to uh, do any of that. We just, it's 25 minus 18. Now, if you're, if you're not super fast on subtraction, you can always do a little figuring over here. So you got 25 minus 18, so I need to borrow. And so that would be, what is it? Seven, eight times seven? I'm sorry, eight, eight plus seven is 15, and one minus one is zero. So we're going to put seven right here. Because that is 25 minus 18 equals 7. Keep the denominator the same. Right here, I'm going to move that equal sign over a little bit right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and subtract 17 minus 5. 17 minus 5, what is it? <laughs> you bet. It is 12. So I put 12 right here. Next step is, can I simplify that fraction anymore? No, you can't. Is the numerator on the top smaller than the denominator? It is. There's the answer. That's it. It worked out. Everything worked out. Hey, thanks again for uh, watching this show. Again, if you can go over and ch uh, check out that Dino Math channel, sure appreciate it there. I hope you're having a fun day out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.